Sorry, Robin, what are you going to do today with your uh, hives? Okay, today we're going to combine the two hives. So the first thing we have to do is find the old queen, and she's in this hive here. Mm -hmm. Get rid of her. Uh, and then combine them in with this hive, putting a bit of newspaper in between. Mm -hmm. um, and hopefully they'll all be happy, happy, happy little bees after that. Robin, you had a bit of trouble with the old queen, have you? Uh, yeah, I think that she um, is a bit feral and her brood are a bit aggressive, so I think we need to get rid of her and have a nice, nice calm queen. You've got a small newt box next to your original hive. Uh, what's that box for? Um, that box, when we open up the old hive, we're going to transfer some of the frames into that just to make it easier to look for and find the queen. And Robin, I noticed that you've also got another box down here behind the hive. What's that uh, purpose of that box? To sit on, so that you're nice and comfortable while you're looking for the queen. And that's commonly referred to as the third box method, <laughs> which I've actually named. So, we'll smoke up. Uh, Robin, what fuel are you using in your smoker? Uh, well, we've been using paper bark. It's been very um, easy to use, nice and dry, and goes for quite a long time. And easy to collect? Easy to collect, yes. Just go around the bottom of the paper barks and it's all lying on the ground, waiting to be picked up. Do you need much smoke to find the queen? I hope not. I hope we can just do a minimal amount. And why is that? Well, because then it'll only make it harder for us to find it because she'll be moving around a lot. Mm -hmm. So you're just going through and loosening the frames from each other. Many bees inside the um, hive, Robin? Yeah, it's quite full. So a good idea, of course, is to have a lot of bees out looking for nectar, so that not as many bees. Today's a bit cloudy at about 22 degrees, but we know there's not very much nectar out in the field. Uh, so what are you doing now, Robin? I'm just moving the some of the frames into the smaller box. And one's from the outside? Yeah, hopefully the queen won't be on those. Yeah, so we'll assume that. We won't look too much. We'll just put it in. But you never know. It's important not to drop the um, frames because that's going to loosen all the bees off and make them more active. That is easier said than done sometimes. So they should all cling on. Having a quick look. Okay, and put it in. We're going to put the lid on that and that will keep the bees, those three frames of bees away from us while we, hopefully, the queen is in the remaining. I'll have to look more carefully now. And you might be advised perhaps to sit down, Robin. It's important when you're doing it to hold the bees over the hive. Go across the hive like, someone said, like reading a book. and. Careful you don't want to drop any bees down to your feet. Okay. Now my experience is that the Queen's most likely not on this one. She would have migrated towards the left of most likely she the queens in, in these four here. Now we haven't used much smokes and the, as you can see the bees are not moving around very much. So we want them to stay where they basically are and hopefully where the queen is.
Of course, if we can't find the queen today, we can put the box back together and uh, try another day. It's not good light for looking for queen bees. Um, we should be able to see her pretty easily though. Yeah, good. So we're going to change places. Robin is going to film and I'm going to have see if I can find the queen. The queen of course could be in the in the three frames that we removed initially because we didn't check those very thoroughly. So let's see if I can have a, have a bit more luck than Robin. And it is actually a fair deal of luck. You can find the queen in five minutes or ten minutes or you can spend three hours and not find her. Usually she's there, she stands out pretty well. If you can see all the bees, she may be on the underside. Did you look on, you've checked the underside too, Robert? No, not every one. Okay, so that's another place she could be. These are pretty good frames, so there's nowhere much else she can hide. And sometimes you can just sit here and watch them, and she'll come, you'll see her. As they're moving around a bit. Okay, so we found the queen. And we leave her in the hive. It's considered that the bees then know she's dead. And our logic that she was eventually in, in this and where she actually went to is a, an empty frame that we put in and she's been attracted to that. Maybe she wanted to lay. So a bit of nice drawn foundation, drawn cells, she wanted to lay. But she was hard to see because she's so dark. So what we'll do now, we can combine this box with the other hive by putting newspaper between them because we know there's no queen here. So they can't, this queen, if we'd done it without finding the queen, she would have killed our good queen. The, new, the queen excluder on this box here because we want the uh, new queen to stay there. So we're going to get a bit of newspaper, put it uh, there. Okay, this is the base of the original hive with a bad queen. So I'm going to take out this empty frame, which is where we found the queen. Maybe this is a new hot tip for beekeepers. The queen went to the new frame, maybe to lay eggs. So don't need that. As we thought these uh, frames didn't have the queen on it, our eyesight was good. We double check those now. That's doesn't matter where we put them. Try to keep most of the bees here because they're going to be sort of trapped. Now, one thing we need to do is before we need to put some little uh, holes into the newspaper just so that they give them a start to eat through. And the idea is that the bees, by the time they've eaten through the newspaper, will. Um, know each other and then these bees will have got the queen in here's smell and they'll all work well together. Last frame. 
Push this uh, this hive closer to where the uh, original the old hive was, so that field bees will find their way in. Because I don't want to go too far because field bees in this hive, hopefully, they'll all find their way in. 